All right, let's settle this debate with the semi-controlled experiment here. Right above me, I got Claude code. Uh, top left, Brew code, or a fork of Klein, essentially, uh, which is just an extension that you can put into VS Code slash cursor or whatever IDE you use. And then bottom left, we have Rusty old cursor composer, uh, all in agent mode. So essentially, we've set up identical code bases in all three uh, separate branches in a GitHub repository. Um, each assistant is given the same prompt, uh, which is implement implementing a certain level of RLS within our AI yield staking platform from DeFi. Uh, each assistant has its own schema which essentially is a mirror of the public schema, so it's visible, and it works on its own branch, and they have full autonomy to modify schemas, create RLS policies, and run tests. Um, Rue code is set up to be fully autonomous in the sense that we have everything selected. All three are using 3.7 uh, Sonnet thinking um, by Anthropic, and Cursor Composer is set up with all enabled features, such as YOLO mode and whatnot else. I've essentially got them as close as possible to fully autonomous as I can. I set up Claude code a little bit previously in the same code base, just so it wouldn't ask me to uh, ask what commands it's allowed to and not. But if it did, I just press yes immediately uh, so that it would just continue from there. And uh, root code cursor, they both have cursor rules slash, uh, you know, uh, client rules set up, which are mirrors of each other. They both have autonomy to create MCPs and anything like that. Cursor is using every feature that it has, such as notepads and contextualized and code base and whatever uh root code what we know about it is that um it is doesn't compress the context windows the same way that cursor does right cursor summarizes after a little while um cloud code i believe uh, will let you know when it needs to compress because it's running out of context root code will probably do the same uh, from what I know. And yeah, so everything is set up as identical as possible. Cloud code can use any MCPs that Anthropic has created for cloud code specifically. And uh, beyond that, everything is set up uh, to the maxed limit. So to the full potential. So here's what we found. Uh, Rue code excels in creating documentation and identifying issues. However, it tends to overcomplicate simple tasks, burning through credits quickly. It'll often loop over and over and over again, trying to quote unquote, get more context when it's not necessary. Uh, it performs better in architect and debug mode, uh, especially architect for creating documentation and setting it up. So some people, what they might do is they might set up the documentation using Rue and then start running cursor off of the previous documentation. And that would be honestly a very effective method to use it. Claude code, brand new, you know, beta right now. It has a simple and effective UI straight in the terminal. It picks up context really well. I really like that it gives you how much context you've been using and how much context window it is. It does a really good job of that, probably because it's Anthropic's model themselves. They probably have the best understanding on how to use it. Uh, it is better at API preservation than Rue code is, though it's still pretty expensive. Same with Rue code. I spent about seven for Rue code, a USD, five for Claude running this experiment, and Cursor is just on my $20 a month subscription. Finally, Cursor Composer at the version of Cursor that currently exists um, as the release of this video, it got the job done essentially compared to the other two uh, identifying fixing the problem efficiently and it remains the most cost effective at $20 per month so in conclusion honestly all tools at their strength but uh you can't really beat cursor composer right now um you know unless you want to like argue windsurf which is up to you to argue that honestly but in terms of like uh what we're comparing here uh yeah cursor still wins though there are use cases for the other two uh, primarily, I see a use case with using Rue code, uh, just because it gives you the ability to use any model in case something switches up and Claude specifically for Anthropic stuff. Uh, Rue code, you know, it'd be nice. Uh, architect mode is good. Debug mode is good. I think pairing Rue code with cursor um, sparingly is a very good method. Uh, you know, Rue code uh, with creating architecture and debugging, cursor actually coding for you. And then uh, cursor can also go ahead and talk to using cursor rules, talk to like Plexity or something else to, you know, continue uh, in that. So I think that that is a good setup that I would probably run from now on. So this kind of settles the debate for me.